In Prashantism is a pictorial movement that appeared in France in the 1860s in opposition to academic art and aimed at representing the transcience of light and its effects on colors and shapes. The group of Impressionists was formed around Edouard Manet, a leader of the artistic avant-garde in the 1860s. Post-Impressionism is not really a painting movement. The term refers to several artists who broke with Impressionism and characterized a personal style marked by great freedom of treatment. Among them, Claude Monet, at the end of his life, Paul Gauguin, Vincent van Gogh, Paul Cézanne, Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec, and Paul Serrusier. Fauvism is an ephemeral pictorial movement in the 90s in France, led by Henri Matisse, a French painter inspired by the Neo-Impressionism. It was experimentation, bright and pure colors took over the drawing, simple shapes with contours, pointillism, and applets of colors. A new reality, the colors were arbitrary, all against Impressionism. Other leaders were André Durand and Maurice de Vlamic. Symbolism came from the decadent movement and Romanticism, where artists were using mythological and dream imagery. It's known to be more a philosophy than an art style. Symbolism made famous artists like Frida Kahlo, Paul Gogi, or Gustav Klimt. Expressionism is a modernist movement where artists were seeking to express the meaning of emotional experiences, rather than physical reality by distorting reality for emotional effects. Artists like Edvard Munch, Egon Schiel, or Vasily Kandinsky were part of it. Cubism is one of the most influential art movements of the 20th century because of its new approach to representing reality. It first appeared between 97 and 98 with Picasso's and Braque's paintings. What stood out from all the other painters at the time was the fragmented composition and the simplification of shapes and colors. This art movement opened new possibilities on how to represent reality and feelings. Dadaism is an intellectual, literary and artistic movement born in 1916 in Zurich. It's an art made from destruction in deconstruction in order to free the artists with the traditions and lead them to exploring new things. That I will have an impact on some movements like surrealism, abstract expressionism or pop art. Dadaism has some famous artists like Marcel Duchamp, Salvador Dali and Max Ernst. Futurism, born in Italy in 1909 by the poet Marinetti, is characterized by the search for the pictorial expression of movement. As part of the continuation of Cubism, we sometimes see a certain geometrization of forms that appear there. The movement is mainly based on the fascination of machines, speed, and on the decomposition of movement and its representation. Futurism had a notable influence on Marcel Duchamp as well as on other avant-garde movements born in the immediate post-war period. Surrealism is an avant-gardist movement from Dadaism born after World War I. André Breton defined it in his Manifesto of Surrealism in 1924 like the exploration of the unconsciousness, combining unexpected elements without any links creating fantastic and dreamlike images that made up a new reality like in our dreams, bringing out what's buried in our consciousness, as Freud said. The leaders were René Magritte, Salvador Dali, and Alberto Giacometti. As Cubism and Fauvism became more present in the modern art, it evolved into a more general movement, which is abstract art. We understand abstract art as a movement which uses forms, such as geometric shapes or gestural mark to create a painting carrying a moral dimension. We can think about the work of Kandinsky, Malevich and Mondrian. Unlike other movements, it's all about the feelings and how you understand the work of the painter. Op art or optic art is an artistic movement which plays on the eye's reliability with some optical illusions. It was in the 1964 in the Time magazine that the word op art was used for the first time. Op art's work are mainly abstract arts. It shows some elements which give an impression of movement, light fragment or vibrations. Some famous artists of op art are Vasarelli, Jesus Rafael Soto or Carlos Cruz Diaz. 
pop art was born in Great Britain during the 1950s. It represents the essence and cultural movement of a generation in its practices and behaviors. This movement affects plastic art, music, fashion, applied arts and culture. It is characterized by themes and techniques from popular conception, such as mass reproduction. It was inspired by the advertisement, media, comics and television. The leaders were Richard Hamilton, Eduardo Paoluzzi or Andy Warhol.